Thank you very much. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, this is a very special recital, and I would just like to say a few words about many, many connections in this program. Uh, when Dvorak wrote this cycle of ten biblical songs, he was at the height of his creative powers. This was 1894. He was in New York City um, teaching at the National Conservatory for several years. He had just written the Symphony from the New World and was about to write the Cello Concerto. Um, he had a friend and a person named Henry Thacker Verlaine, and he had given this very famous interview with the New York Herald in which he was asked, uh, do you have any suggestions to help American composers, to help us found a national school, a national style? And he said, look at what you have here. Look at the African-American music you have, and look at the music of the Native Americans. Um, and it's no small coincidence that one of his students, Reuben Goldmark, was the teacher of both Aaron Copeland and George Gershwin. Um, another, Will Marion Cook, was the mentor of Duke Ellington. Uh, this is one of the many connections we have. Um, Dvorak died in 1904. He didn't get to see what happened in 1918, which was the formation of the country of Czechoslovakia. The Czechs finally, for the first time, had their own country. This was a democracy uh, under President Tomáš Garrig Masaryk. Um, Tomáš Garrig Masaryk, he took his middle name from his, the last name of his American wife. So we have a long uh, and fruitful friendship that goes back. Um, and there are many celebrations this year, the 100th anniversary of the founding of Czechoslovakia. Um, for this program, I would like to thank all of our many wonderful, illustrious singers, some of them from our voice faculty, others are alumni, and I wish I could talk about every single one of them. They're just absolutely amazing. Um, I would ask you as an audience to please hold your applause until the very, very end of the program. I would like to thank our religious leaders for, for taking time from their very, very busy schedules. They will be reading the translation for each song. This, this uh, cycle will be in the original Czech. So they will be reading the English translations before each song. And the texts for the biblical songs just happen to be all from the book of Psalms in the Old Testament. Um, I would like to thank the University of Michigan for hosting this, the School of Music, Theater, and Dance, and our new department, DE and I, headed by Freya Harris. Thank you so much for embracing this project. I'm going to turn this over to Freya, and then she will be our first reader for the first song. Thank you. Good evening. It is truly an honor that the Office of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion for the School of Music, Theater, and Dance is sponsoring this event. When Professor Cheek came to my office with this idea, I was absolutely thrilled and wanted to make sure that some way we could make it happen. There's such an amazing, rich diversity of religious and philosophical beliefs in our community that should be recognized and embraced, and we should take as many opportunities as possible to learn about one another because it really does guide our conduct, the way we interact with each other. It's not a small thing, whether it's based on a religion or based simply on a philosophy that you follow. These are the things that help to guide us and allow us to be good to one another. So I am very appreciative to also be able to partake in this evening. And so now I hope you enjoy and we will begin. <clears throat> Clouds and darkness are round about him. Righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne. A fire goeth before him and burneth up his adversaries round about. His lightnings lighted the world, the earth saw and trembled. The mountains melted like wax at his presence, at the presence of the Lord of the whole world. 
The heavens declare his righteousness, and all the peoples have seen his glory. For their deceit is falsehood. My flesh trembleth for fear of thee, and I am afraid of thy judgments. Oh, oh, oh. 
Give ear to my prayer, O God, and hide not thyself from my supplication. Attend unto me and answer me. I am restless in my complaint and moan. My heart is so pained within me, and the terrors of death have fallen upon me. Fearfulness and trembling have come upon me, and horror hath overwhelmed me. And I said, Oh, that I had wings like a dove, that I would fly away and be at rest. Though then would I wander far off, I would lodge in the wilderness, I would haste me to a shelter from the stormy wind and the tempest. Through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. <coughs> thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me.
I will sing a new song unto thee, O God. Upon psaltery of ten strings, I will sing praises to thee. Every day I will bless thee, and I will praise thy name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised, and his greatness is unsearchable. One generation shall laud thy works to another, and shall declare thy mighty acts. Of the glorious majesty of thine honor, and of thy wondrous works will I meditate. And men shall speak of the might of thy awesome acts, and I will declare thy greatness.
Turn to me and have mercy upon me, for I am alone and afflicted. The troubles of my heart grow large. Deliver me from the straits of my distress. Look at my affliction and suffering and forgive all my sins. Protect and save me. Let me not be ashamed, for I take refuge in you. I will lift up mine eyes into the mountains, from whence shall my help come? My help cometh from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel will neither slumber nor sleep.
O oh, sing unto the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. Break forth and sing for joy, yea, sing praises. Let the sea roar in the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. Let the floods clap their hands, let the hills sing for joy together. Let the field exult and all that is therein. Let, let the earth rejoice, let the sea roar, and the fullness thereof. See? 